I want to express this as a rational number. The number is 17.48 and 48 both are recurring. I want to write this as a rational number. So now, what is a rational number? A rational number is any number which can be written as a fraction. So if you can write a number as A over B, of course B should not be zero. Now that is a rational number. So basically the question is, you want to write this as a fraction. A and B is what you want to find. So I'm going to write this as X is 17.484848. It goes on, on to infinity. So this is recurring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both by 100. So this becomes 100X. So if you multiply this by 100, you have to multiply this by 100. So the decimal point will move two places to the right, or the number will move two places to the left, whichever way you understand. So this is 1,748. So this is becoming 100 times more. So if it becomes 100 times more, this is 1,748.4848. It goes into infinity. So if you do 100x, minus x is same as writing 1748.48 recurring take away 17.48 recurring so if you take away this is 99x is equal to so let me write this 1748.4848 recurring take away 17.4848 recurring. So this becomes, uh, this becomes 0, and this is 1, this is 3, so 1731 is nothing but 99x. Okay, so I can divide both sides by 99. If you divide this side by 99, you can also divide this, or you have to divide this side by 99. I forgot the equal to sign this is equal so this is x is equal to 1731 or 1731 divided by 99 now I don't want to use a calculator so I can see that this number is divisible by 3 and 9 and also 11 uh, can I divide this by 3 so how do I know I can divide by 3 I have to simply add the digits so 1 plus 7 plus 3 plus 1 which is 12, and you can divide 12 by 3, so you can also divide this by 3. That's a neat rule to remember. If you have any number, and if you add the digits, and that you can divide by uh, 3, uh, then this number is also divisible by 3. So for 99, you go 9 plus 9 is 18, and 18 you can divide by 3. So this is also divide, divisible by 3. So I'm going to divide this by 3 and this by 3. The denominator is easy, but I want to do without the calculator. Okay, I can use the calculator, but I don't want to. So this is 1731 divided by 3. So I know 1500 divided by 3 is 500. Now you've got... Uh, this is done. We are going to use this. So now you've got 231 divided by 3. Okay, so I don't know how to do that. So I can say 210. Am I right? 210 divided by 3 is 70. Okay, now you've got from 210, you got your, from 231, you, you have taken 210. So what is left? left is 21 divided by 3 is 7. So, in other words, this becomes 577, 577, oops, let me use a smaller eraser, so this is nothing but 500 and so I hope you understood, this is 500 divided by 3, and then you've got 210 divided by 3, and then you've got 21 divided by 3. Okay, so to just to explain, so this is 1500 
1500 plus 210 plus 21 okay so this is one this is three so it's one seven three one so what i've done is i split this into neat numbers by which you can divide you can also use the long division method which is 577 over 33. now just to show this on a calculator where's my calculator so this is menu run so let us do 577 divided by 3. 577 divided by 33, sorry. 577 divided by 33, not 3. So here's your number, 17.484848.